day out done day. You know, a lot of people wanted to see the finished product of that pot that I cooked in my barbecue grill. <laughs> I ain't got rid of all the rust and all on it so it could be usable again. Now, the reason, a lot of people ask me why I took the time to do this. The reason I did this is this pot, or Dutch oven, if you want to call it that, uh, belongs to one of my pool customers. Um, she's a lot older than I am. That Dutch oven belonged to her daddy. And it had been sitting out in the yard for about three or four years, and that's why it was built up with crud and all that kind of mess on there. But anyway, she had no idea how to clean one of them up. And she didn't really want it to use it. She wanted it fixed up just for sentimental value. So anyway, now that you know the story behind the pot, this is the same pot, believe it or not, you know. Here's the lid to it. Came out real nice. Real nice. You know, before I started on it, you couldn't even read the numbers on the inside. And now you can. And this is the pot, the inside of it. Y'all remember what it looked like? I'll put the picture up beside it so you remember what it looked like. But this is it. This is the same one. And then, uh, like I said, it's for sentimental value. You can see I've got oil all over my fingers. <laughs> I just oiled it again. I just got it cooled down. And uh, she'll, be, she'll be able to cook with this after she uh, puts it in her oven. Uh, when you cool down from cooking something else, you turn the oven off. You just stick it in there and let it sit. Just let it sit, and it'll bake that oil into it. And it'll last a long, long time. And with it being seasoned up the way I did uh, with the red oak and the charcoal, when it uh, when she does cook in it, it'll taste like it was cooked outdoors. It doesn't matter whether it's on top stove or in the oven. Doesn't matter. It'll taste like it came off a barbecue grill. So anyway, there you go. Completed product. Y'all have a good day.